Hi everyone, this is Imam. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to check your graphics card in Linux. So first of all, you need to, uh, an app called CPUX. You can download this app from um, by just googling the CPUX website. CPUX. And hmm, let's see if it's the one. No, this is not the one. Um, CPUX, what's wrong with CPUX? Okay, I suppose this is the one. So, this is the one the app CPUX. So, you can download these. So, what uh, normally I download is the app image version of this app image version of this app, which is like a portable application. You know, search app image and you can go to the GitHub page and where is it uh, uh, righty download if i just press download and then here this is the latest version and then you can come down here and download app image version so just download that and uh, sorry you can download that once you download it it will show up like this in your folder wherever you downloaded the app you can go to the properties and then in the permission tab you can set it to executable i suppose it's already executable and then uh, you can just double click to run the app or what i'd like to do action run in console so that if it crashes for some reasons i can see what's happening up here in the console so in the cpu x app i can learn about my cpu and then what type of cpu I have here I have AMD Ryzen 5 and it's got uh, these features and the model number and the family and all that uh, and it's got 12 thread 6 core and if I go to motherboard I can find out about my motherboard and all that and the BIOS version update date uh, I just click on this one to go to the graphics tab now we are in the graphics tab guys here you can find your graphics card information if you have all the drivers properly installed I suppose you have so for me uh, I've got an AMD graphics card you can see the vendor is AMD and then uh, the driver that is currently being used for this card is AMD GPU driver and then the model is the one we are interested so my graphics card model is the code name is navi 23 or radian so how do i know exactly because it's telling me three different model here models so which one the one i have since i know that I, my graphics card is this one but it's showing three different models so how do you know so you can find the device id here and search in the internet so the device ID will tell you exactly your model. You just have to search it up online. Let's see. We can just copy that. And if I search internet AMD graphics card device ID and then paste that one and the first page showing up is the tech power up page. So tech power up page shows you the exact model. And we can see my graphics card model is RX this that one. And that's all. Or you can go to the you can see the device ID here as well. And the device ID is that 73FF. So you just have to copy this bit, the last bit. And this is the vendor ID. Vendor is AMD. So there's a vendor ID. And you can find all that information in the official AMD website here as well. Or you can go to the Wikipedia page of AMD graphics car. Uh, cars. Um, Wikipedia page. Okay. So list of AMD graphics processing units. Here you just search for the device ID, remove that bit, I suppose it will show up here, but it's showing no matches. 
I suppose that's because we have to search using the so my one is Navi 23 suppose this one falls under this category so Navi 20 if we go to that specific page maybe we can search the device ID here no so anyway um, all I have to do is this match this information I suppose or another way to find this MD graph is called list device ID maybe this website has it yeah you can search this website and you can see here it has found my device ID and the card is that one so it's got different variants of the device which variant I got my one is C1 variant so you just search in the C1 and you, you can see that one so this is how you find your graphics card model in Linux the simplest way to uh, fire up the CPU X program and it will give you all the details about your graphics card including the CPU graphics card temperature total memory it has and the usage currently how much uh, is being used the power draws of the your graphics card and the GPU clock and the memory clock of the graphics card anyway but we want to learn about the other things as well let's say I want to find out I want to find out about the OpenGL version provided by my graphics card I can use the Mesa Utils tool uh, Mesa Utils is a tool Mesa Utils you can find in your distribution once you install Mesa Utils tool you can type this command glx info and less now you can scroll this thing as usual or use the keyboard up and down arrow and it should definitely say direct rendering yes that means my graphics kit OpenGL driver is fully working then I go down and I can see OpenGL vendor stream which is AMD so my OpenGL driver uh, is AMD driver and the OpenGL renderer string is the one who tell you the exact model of your graphics card as detected by OpenGL. So here my graphics card model is AMD Radeon RX and it's exactly telling us which version of Mesa driver is being used for my OpenGL um, support so Mesa provides OpenGL supports for many different graphics cards under Linux including Intel and AMD graphics cards so so once you're you check this information you can press Q in your keyboard key to quit this information so that's how you know about your OpenGL information suppose your driver is not working uh, so OpenGL hasn't uh, sorry Mesa hasn't detected your graphics card model or whatever you can use another command called LSPCI and you can just type in this command LSPCI K and then enter and it you you tell you exactly what kind of graphics card is attached to your motherboard under VGA compatible controller you can see is using M advanced micro device for AMD and I have got a Radeon RX that model so definitely Linux kernel has detected this device and then if your driver is not being now it's using AMD GPU driver let's say um, uh, you don't have driver installed for this uh, graphics card so what you can do you can just uh, LSPCI and uh, LSPCI command and just less and it will tell you all the hardware attached to your uh, computer here you just have to find the one with the VGA so here we VGA showing so here definitely it will show you the device ID and the vendor ID the one we saw in the CPU X program this is another way to find out about uh, your graphics card but 
is not telling us the device ID. So if you go to the main page of LSPCI, it will tell you how to get more details. You can uh, put V in there to show the device ID, I suppose. So if I put V in that command, so it's giving more details about my hardware. So here I have to find for just a scroll key and then find for the VGA1, VGA controller. So under the VGA controller, where is the VGA controller here? So you can see it's giving the full detail of the graphics card. And then um, where to find the device ID of this. So probably, probably we need VB as well to tell us more information. Actually, there are other applications uh, to use. Uh, let's try VB as well. And it should give more details uh, here. You just have to find. So this is a traditional command line method of finding all the devices in your computer but there are other models as well so here under the vga compatible controller so we are trying to find the device id so that we can look it up on the internet um for some reasons i cannot find it probably i have to i have to run a different command maybe or, you know what so so lspci command uh, pkg file can be found under PCI utils package. So if you have to use this program LSPCI in the command line, you can use you can install PCI utils. Uh, what is it? Ah, uh, yeah, program. So it's a command line program as we saw already. There are other programs as well. Graphical way of finding things. Uh, what I'd like to use is called Hardware Listener or LSHW. Uh, if we uh, there is a command, so it's called LSHW package. You just have to install that package, and uh, you should install the GTK version of the package. It's called GTK LSHW. So you should install that package. Uh, let's see what package provides this program. I'm using Manjaro Linux, so you can f search for this package and install it. And then once you have it, you run it as a sudo user bin user bin gtk and give your password. So it, and then click refresh, and it will tell all the hardware about your computer. After clicking refresh, it will give you step by step all the details about your computer. Once you click on the desktop computer, it will give you the full details of your computer. And you double click on that one, and it will tell you the motherboard details. Double click on the motherboard, and it will tell you all the things attached to the motherboard. And we have to go to the I suppose here somewhere in the motherboard you have the graphics card. Uh, 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 so basically, your host bridge. So double click on that one, PCI bridge. So of, of course my graphics card is a PCI graphics card. So it should be under the PCI bridge I suppose. So NVMe, PCI bridge. Oh, this. So basically, it's giving all the details about each wireless interface, SATA controller. We can go up. And PCI bridge, PCI bridge, VGA compatible controller. So we found it. So step by step, I can see all the details here. And again, um, should tell us where's the device ID of this. So here is the device ID, guys. Sorry. I think the LSPCI command also gave that information, but we haven't. No, so here, so with the device ID, also it detected, kind of detected, and then also device ID. So you can look it up online to find out about. So there's another command, I suppose, is called system 
um, system there is also another program to find out about your graphics card is called um, system profile profiler and benchmark and you can find this program in your package it's called hard info so you have to you have to install the package I'm not sure uh, what package to provide this so hard info so but you just have to search in your package manager to install this program it's a nice program and it's a good one and you just press refresh and then go to the graphics processor here you will find all details about your graphics card the card and also the model and everything all the capabilities I suppose it should also give uh, the device ID here as well you can see the device ID here and you can look it up online to learn about your device capabilities all the other capabilities thanks very much for watching my video please subscribe to my channel until next time bye bye